In this Photoshop design tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to do a simple exploration logo in Photoshop. So hi guys, welcome back to a brand new Photoshop design tutorial. My name is Manny and you can find me on Facebook at Rita Pro. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to do a very simple exploration logo in Photoshop. It's very simple, we're going to work with some backgrounds and as well with some fonts. You guys can find all the text down below in the description box. All right, so let's get right away into this Photoshop tutorial. Okay, so over in Photoshop, I already have my background and again design added. Let's also start right away with just the background like I do in every tutorial. I'm gonna turn off the design and go right away into the background. Now as well as you guys can see over here, our first layer is again a black layer. If you are completely new to Photoshop, please have a look on my design channel. Is a playlist for one-on-one -on -one Photoshop design tutorials for the beginner. So maybe head there if you don't understand what's going on right now. Now for all of you who do, check this out. I've added again just my background layer right on top of the black one. Again, if you want, you can take the opacity down here and let that shimmer just through a little bit, the blackness from the behind. But today I want to try a different effect. So again, first of all, 100% opacity just with the background layer. On top of that, I've added a curves adjustment layer. Again, you can go to adjustments and over here is curves adjustment layer. So once you select it, that will be over here and you can edit it. Let me delete that quickly and head over to my original layer. I'm gonna make this a bit bigger and show you guys what I did. So first of all, I took the black parts up just to fade them a little bit and decrease that a little bit. And also took the highlights and pushed those down a bit so it's just dimmer a bit for the background. So obviously the white stands out a bit more. Now, but the second thing is that I've added another adjustment layer, a hue and saturation, not to desaturate, but take the lightness down a bit. Let's have a look. If I switch that on, you guys can see how that lightness goes away a bit. Okay, I'm gonna double click here onto the hue and saturation. And you guys can also see that in the master tones, I've taken down the hue just slightly so I can get a bit more orange in here. You guys can also leave that to zero or play again with the color tones, depends on what you guys want. Okay, then saturation, keep it as is. And with my lightness, I push that down to like a minus 22 because I wanted to just degrade the lightness a little bit. Obviously, make it a bit darker though. So again, minus 22, you guys can also play with this again. What I also sometimes do is once I'm finished with the design, I go back into this background layer and play again with all of these adjustment layers, curves and etc. to make it even better. Okay, so that's basically my background again. Then the design, let's start with that. It's first of all, again, a shape here in the top then also some text and again another text for the bottom. So maybe this is your company name and down below would be just a slogan or something simple to round it off. Okay, let's start right away with our first thing. What we're gonna do is go to the text tool over here on the left hand side or press T on the keyboard and we're gonna make a nice big selection. And first of all, I'm gonna search now for a tree font. Yes, I'm gonna build the shapes from trees and from a font. So let's go to our font selector here and over here it's called Trees TFB. You guys can also find it in the description down below with a link to this tree font. Okay, select that. And on the tree font, I've also searched for the right uh, letter and that is J for me, but it should not be leaning. Okay, anyways, let's select it. First of all, I'm gonna go to the character box. If you guys don't have the character box, again, go to window, activate character box over here. Great, so I'm gonna take out leaning and it's nice and straight, great. I'm happy also with the size so far. Maybe I'm gonna make it actually a bit bigger. 50, that's great. Keep it to white foreground color, okay, except now again, I'm gonna also make a duplicate of this so I have a smaller tree and a big tree. Again, I'm gonna press Command J on my keyboard so I can duplicate this. If you're a Windows person, please press Control when I say Command, okay? So Control J now for you. So Control J, and for the window, ach, Mac, Command J. And now again, text tool. So work a lot with the tech, ach, with the keyboard shortcuts here. T on the keyboard. I'm gonna select it and make this maybe half the size, like so. Mm, half would actually be 25 then, but yeah. Okay, let's make it a bit bigger. 36, somewhere around there. Okay, accept it. And with my move tool, I'm gonna basically place this somewhere over here. Okay, let's also rename this quickly. J would be 
then the small one. Okay, so I just know that's my small tree. Okay, great. So the small tree is over here. And to cheat a little bit, I'm going to actually turn on again my shape over here because I'm really rushing through this and try to be as precise as I can. Put that here to the top. And we're going to take these two layers here and place that right next to it. So right away, what I'm going to do is this is the small layer, the big layer. Again, let's duplicate this with Command-J again. And I'm just moving the tree a little bit and trying to make here a really weird silhouette, uh, kind of a white form of trees from a forest, all right? Again, Command J, and with my cursors left and right, and I'm just trying to place them here into a random position, maybe a little bit further. Now I'm going to take a small one again, Command J, duplicating that, and placing that over here somewhere. Take a big tree again, move that all over here. Okay, it's another small, so let's duplicate another big tree. Somewhere over here. And again with my cursors, I'm trying to be really like wild and do something random with this. You guys can obviously take more time when you do this and not rush through it like I am, I am currently. Okay, and let's take this layer. It's also not the right layer. Copy to another small tree over here. And I'm going to take a big tree again, Command J. And you guys kind of get the point what you should do. Just really build a little shape over here. Now what I'm also trying to do is just build a shape that goes like up like a wave and then down again. So also with the trees go up and down and then down a little bit. So up and down a bit. Command J again. And let's make a bigger uh, position here or even further away. That could also work. And then again, another small tree. Command J for the end. Place that somewhere over here. Maybe even a bit down. And yeah, so far I'm happy. I'm actually going to make another duplicate of this, Command-J, and just try to make something completely weird. Put it somewhere up here. Maybe that would look cool if it's really big. Yeah, well, okay. Not, it's not really doing the effect for me. Maybe a small little position here, something like that. Okay, like I said, obviously take a bit more time when you do this. I'm really rushing through it. Okay, great. So I've got all of these uh, layers now set. Now what I'm going to do is to select all of the layers here. Remember, these are still text layers, so we need to rasterize them before we can put them in a bundle. Again, all text layers, I'm going to hit right-click while selected the layers, go to rasterize the type, and then hit right-click again and say merge layers. So now we've got everything in one layer here. Great. Then again, I'm going to take the pen tool and start right away out here in the front and put an anchor point and try to replicate the wave. So again, anchor point over here, Another anchor point over here. Keep on holding on that, onto that path and also to the mouse. Okay, something like that. And one over here and just trying to make some round waves here. Again, I'm doing this super quick. And if you're new to this, please have a look again on the channel is a playlist called one-on-one -on -one Photoshop playlist, how to do and how to learn stuff about Photoshop and also how to work with the pen tool and learn how to work with the pen tool. Again, once I'm done, I'm going to complete the anchor point hit right click, say make a selection out of this, and also now feathering zero, okay, and we have a selection now. Now I'm gonna hit delete on that layer, so we have a round curve already, but obviously you guys can see here these points and these little breakdowns here, so we need to also fix that. So what I'm gonna do now with these uh, little points here, I'm basically gonna go back to the marking tool, hit right click inside of the selection, and go select inverse over here. So now we have the opposite and we can actually paint in here. I'm going to go back to brush, press B on the keyboard and just with white foreground color, here's your foreground colors, white 100% opacity. I'm literally just brushing in these little holes over here and if you want to, can, you can also fix the trees a bit if you've messed up. Okay, now I'm going to press Command D to get out of the selection. Again, Windows users, when I say Command, you have to press Control. So Command D, get out of this. And I can see I missed a bit here. So then let's go back to history, brush tool, B for the brush again, and let's just fix this. Okay, as you guys can see, I'm obviously rushing through this. Again, Command D, get out of the selection. Now, again the pen tool, but I am staying on this layer. Put an anchor point over here, and an anchor point over here, and I'm literally just going to make a big round curve. Keep on holding onto that path. Now, also taking this anchor point, hold Alt on the keyboard, 
move this all the way back and over here select the last anchor point keep on holding on to that mouse so you can create a really nice round path and stop there great so now we have a really cool path again hit right click on the path say make a selection out of this zero feathering okay M for the marking tool and inside of that selection hit right click and say fill it up fill it with a white foreground color here under contents okay and command D get out of the selection if you want or hit marking tool again and move this selection just a bit down if you want to replicate exactly the same stripe but I don't want to do that so I'm gonna hit command D again pen tool and a bit shorter this time I'm going to pro uh, replicate exactly the same process again so something like this okay hold alt on the keyboard move this guy over and select your anchor point again the first one and try to like make a little stripe here again okay same process right click make a selection zero feathering marking tool inside of that selection hit fill and also fill this with white foreground color command D to get out of the selection great so now you've got two stripes you can see it looks completely different than my first try I actually like my first trial more because it just has a bit of a better shape here so take a bit more time when you do this and also if you're new to the pen tool take a look at my playlist there on the channel it's called 101 Photoshop playlist for beginners great so we've got our shape now again what I want to do is move that all the way to the top I'm actually gonna disable my original design and quickly gonna go to view new guides and horizontally 50% also to create a guideline so I can place my logo right into the center view again new guide again and this time vertically 50% okay and I'm going to just place this a bit more and now I'm going to start just with my main logo text again I'm going to select the text tool from the keyboard make a nice big selection and I'm also going to write now exploration Okay, exploration and you guys can see we still have the wrong font so let me just select the right font that I actually want to use for this and it's not too far it's also called trash and there we go you guys can also again find it down below in the description what is the name of this all right so I'm going to select everything now go back to the character box and first of all going to make that leaning okay and my size should also be something around 45 46 maybe 50 yeah let's go with 46 okay I'm gonna accept that and with the move tool just literally position this somewhere over here so I can see my shape is still a little bit too small I'm actually gonna take exploration and just move that down just slightly okay and I'm gonna place it right over here great so now again text tool make a nice big selection and I'm just gonna write here also made for exploration or explorers actually okay so now we've got that I'm gonna select all of it and go select the font that I've used almost every week which is called Hellfittiger Neue great you guys can also find that again in the description down below next step I'm gonna switch off the leaning and as well make this just like a six or actually five I want to have it super small and now I'm going to push up my tracking yeah maybe to something like a thousand sales and two hundred or something accepted take the move tool okay something wrong happened let's select it again and I think yeah it switched into the wrong direction let's just turn it up to plus not minus okay and I'm trying now to get right at the end with my text here so the slogan should start somewhere over here and also end somewhere over here so I need to make this just a bit bigger okay and I can obviously not see it so let's select it again make this a bit smaller accept it and with the move tool I'm literally just with my cursors left and right trying to put that somewhere here into the center great this guideline away and let's take all three layers move that just down a little bit and you guys can see it looks a slightly different than my first layer I'm also going to press quickly command J just to uh, put everything together in a group double click on here and call that design great so that is also view clear the guides that is our uh, logo design from the second hand I don't really like the shape so much I would take some more time to create a better shape like I have in my first design 
So as you guys can see, the first one looks a bit better. Let's try the second one towards the first one. Again, yeah, I like the first one more than the second one. Yeah, but as you guys can see, that's a quick way how to create this quick and easy logo. Yeah, so that's basically it for the tutorial, guys. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to hit me up with a thumbs up if you enjoy this content. Subscribe, share this with all your buddies who are new in Photoshop. And yeah, thanks again for watching, guys. I'll catch you all in the next tutorial. Yeah, and if you want to see some more tutorials, just check out here on the left side, right side, or at the bottom are also some more links to some one-on-one Photoshop design course. But yeah, just check around a few more tutorials for you.